This is a game called Entanglement. Um, this was suggested by a viewer who can reveal themselves in the comments if they wish, but I played this game, like, when it came out, I think. I don't remember much of it now, but this was really cool. And yeah, definitely deserves to be shown off. So, this is a puzzle script game. You've seen me play a bunch of puzzle script games before. Um, but there is really nothing quite like the real-time lasers here. They don't actually hurt you, by the way. Uh, but yeah, this real-time laser stuff is really not usual for this engine. Uh, this is basically a laser redirecting game, and also part horror game, if you, uh, you know, look at that thing. Anyway, yes, exactly. Just feast on the lore memories. Anyway, we need to get both of these, but I don't think they reset. Oh, they do. They, they are timed, so we need to somehow get both of them. This block actually merged with the other one, so I guess that's how we do that. This is sort of open, this game as well, because there's like this top branching path. I'm not sure which to go in yet. Okay. So now this one needs to go, what, down? What is that like? Oh, it just went through that. What am I supposed to do with that one? Hmm. Like, I can merge it. I'm not sure what that would do, though. So the movement speed is quite fast, which is pretty handy. What? What? Okay, I never remembered that. That's right, that's why the game's called Entanglement, because the particle, like, the lasers are entangled and they, wow, they move along, uh, like, in a way, both of the particles are the same one. So when you move one, the other one is also moved. That's incredibly cool. Uh, so what do we do here? We just hope that the other one goes down? That seems impossible. Huh. So... Like, well, what if you could... Okay, the undoing is kind of awkward in the system, to be honest, but... I don't know if you could, like, move the blocks while this is moving to create something different. Like, I can't also... I can't make two lasers at once. I can actually, like, get this on and then fire, but this is obviously not enough time at all. Also, this thing is like a resetter. Oh, wait! Oh, shoot, I probably should have just merged two different blocks then. Okay, <laughs> that was a little dumb. Okay, that is the key here. Hmm. I think it's this. Fire and the rotation entangles. Let's get there fast. There we go. Yeah, thinking about the rotation is not going to be easy. Um, hmm. We got a lot of blocks. Like, probably we double it up. And maybe something happens here. We don't have the space right there. What if it was like this? Is that the correct one? There we go. Cool. And more. Oops. That was the reset. Didn't do anything, obviously. So in this one, we have a bunch of blocks, but none of them can actually turn, like, over here. I think we need, like, an upside-down version of the T to do it. So the idea is probably that we're side-splitting it and then using a different one to make it turn that way. Okay. That looks like it's not going to be good enough. There we go. Okay. We can probably merge all those into one block and make it even first. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, these, I believe, like these four dots on the ground correspond to... Blocks can't move there, but you can. So, we have two goals. We're going to have to somehow figure out a way to use them. Yes, that does split into three. That's going to be really complicated. And most of them are hitting walls when I try to do this. Let me just reset. Can you merge two of the same? Does that even do anything? Is it going to change color? I don't know. <laughs> like, we also need to get this one in from afar as well. Because there's no way to get an actual uh, mirror on any of those tiles. <laughs> um, yeah, this is something I was worried about. Like, I have no idea what the solution is going to be like. Also, probably one of these puzzles is going to have this element not be here, and it's going to be a surprise. Let's try the side split again, I guess. Is there anything good here? Because we still need to get it to turn in some useful way. So, maybe upwards somehow? It definitely needs to go up. But I'm, I'm not sure what this side one is for. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. 
It's there to keep the direction. That's... That's nuts. I didn't even think when I was putting this block in. But... Yeah, I guess... That turns one of them while not turning this one. Because it, it's already going in that same direction. Okay. I don't know which way we should go. We're able to, like, hit this thing, whatever it is. Yes. I had awoken suddenly. The studio was as black as pitch. But there's an unknown person. Yep. And it grew an eye. Wonderful. So, instead of unknown person, perhaps talk about living uh, brain meat. <laughs> It's it really sticks out the art style, which is totally intentional. Anyway, we have for some reason we have more in this section. We have a bunch of locked blocks here. That's very strange. Do we just need to get this block out of the way? Like what's going on with that one? Huh. So probably I use this time to throw this block in here. Can I hold the door open with it? I guess you can, but Okay, I guess that's just holding the door open with it. Oh. That one does stay on. How do I get back? Wait, what? Okay, I guess we just have to walk back because... Lol. I believe the there were a couple branches before that we should have checked out. So... Just do that. It's not a half spare you with the backtracking. Okay, so... Here... Well, we had this top one. And what is this area? So... That goes there, so I guess we get these off the walls right now. That's the idea of this one. Oh, we There's no way I can speed solve this, I'm sorry. Uh... Because the blocks are definitely on the right place, but there we go. That would, that would be a configuration where all, all the blocks are in the right places. And we can just wait for it to redirect. Next one. Uh... Well, this, again, seems like only one block is capable of really using that one, so let's bring it here. Now that one, I'm not sure what's going on with that, actually, because it seems like we don't use that T at all. But, yeah, that just seems like this one is a mislead. Anyway, wait. Oh, gosh, we need another one? Oh, we probably need to split something. <laughs> uh, okay. Huh. How do we split from that angle, actually? I mean, does that door actually... Does that not shut off? Oh, oops. Because if it doesn't shut off, then I can, like, fire another shot. Oh, that's probably the idea, then. That's nice. Okay, I fire another shot. Even though, like, the first run has got some stuff stuck to the wall, it doesn't matter, so I can still do it. Alright, cool. Wow, wait, what? There's two branches here? I can't get past that one. Okay. Now we're firing multiple lasers at once. Although, the blocks themselves don't really look entangled. Hmm. So, I can of course do this. So, it, it's possible for me to get both lasers... Um, maybe both lasers activate? Like, can I do this? Or are they gonna merge? And I'm just going to come to here and then switch them once the first one comes out. Oh, come on. Wait, what? Hmm. Are they coming to... Hold on. Let's, um... Okay, what if the T... What if the above one is, is the one that comes in first? Is that better? Yes! Okay, nice. What do we have here? Is this just another way to meet flesh? Hello, memory. Are we an artist or something? I guess that's what it is. Um, slaving away at canvas. So, another branch here. Oh, gosh. So, two lasers again. And I guess we need to... Huh. So, one of these is already merged together. So, I guess part of the idea might be to try to get all... Try to get those gates all activated. And what is this passage at the side? Very suspicious. But the main puzzle is happening in the middle, basically. So it makes sense to, like, split it and then have... Well, you think it would make sense to have a three-way? That would give us more options. And more, um, or maybe it could loop. 
That doesn't make sense. Wait. Does it loop back into itself? Is that the whole idea? I don't have anything that goes down, though. But if I could, like, create an infinite laser entanglement loop, that would be very fitting and really cool. Oops, I just hit the reset thing. Okay. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. And I don't know what the left side is. Can we actually activate it? That's so suspicious. Because I can now do that and have something activate there, down, down there. I should note, note that um, in Puzzle Script, uh, it just hit a wall, I think. In Puzzle Script, the rooms are usually not split like that. Um, like, you don't have progress between your rooms usually. You can still hear the freaking sound. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'll do with that. It seems like I can only activate it once I'm nearby, so I prefer to not do that right now until I know what it's for. Anyway, that opens up. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna have to undo that so this laser hits down here. What is that? How do we get to there? We need to open that from a different spot. Huh. Have I been here? I, I think I've been here. What is the point of the the right section? Because it seems it almost looks like we need to get a piece. I can press ref the the reason the restart key I mean there's a reset button in the overworld is so it can reset only specific rooms, but I think the trick here is actually like you go down here and then put the <laughs> mirror over here so that we can activate it from afar. You can still access it, that is. Yeah, okay. This is interesting, because I have no freaking idea. And also, like, I don't like that I'm, I'm forced to merge a tile and break that apart, but I hope it doesn't matter. Whoops. Oh. I didn't I didn't quite realize that hitting the button is what prevents uh, multiple lasers from happening and that kind of stuff. Okay, but that is open now. And what does that give us? Transmission. Okay, that's more lore or something like that. Seconds in there, it's they're like non-contextual messages. There's also the background elements. Like, isn't that suspicious? I don't know if we can ever use those, but like, there have been some things uh, across the walls and whatever. Also, F. It says F. <laughs> anyway, we got another laser that obviously needs to hit, and pretty much everything else in this level is kind of locked. Oops, I should stop hitting that by accident. Does that activate? Does that open the door? Okay, it does. And what about the other one? Oh, oh wait, I see. We gotta do this fast. Set it there, and then get that other one out of the way. And we needed to do the open gate first. <laughs> That's good. Anyway. And that opens up the other two gates. Did I miss a branch? I really hope I didn't. Because I I swear I saw another red uh, neat thing that I didn't interact with yet. Okay. This puzzle, the laser button is over here. And once again, we do have, like, split areas in a sense. That's not really good enough. I don't think we're getting... I don't think we're hitting all the doors this way. Um, we can do that, though. And maybe this is helpful too. Like we can merge those blocks, but this is not like the other thing is that won't this entangle like hell? Hmm. Admittedly, this we could do some moves after this and hope to get whatever this is back into play, but this this remaining laser is highly suspicious. Um it implies also that maybe we should have moved all this stuff upwards. Whoops, there we go. Nope. Maybe it needs to move both all one down. <laughs> totally not guessing here. Yes! That's that's really nice. And you just hold left to finish it off. What is that? That that looks that's a very suspicious tunnel. Okay, we have a laser here. And that is temporary. Hmm. Well, okay, if we get in there, we can actually bring some blocks out. 
And there's also another block in here. So what is the idea? I guess we can make a turn this way and create this infinite loop thing. Once it gets over there. And then I can just maybe wait for it to get there. We don't exactly have the time to do that very well, do we? Like, I'd rather get out here first and push it in. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Exce look at that excessively um, good timing. I don't know what that bottom right thing is uh, either. All right. Button. Just click that. Click it again. Just, but move that out of the way first. And we can interact with this. Okay. I think Invisible Hand has lifted someone in this memory. Pro tip. You are fat with recollection. <laughs> okay, what are the extras exactly? Like, what is this at the bottom? Wait, it can just open it. Okay, wait, this is just a way back. A little shortcut back. I don't know if there's any other secrets I missed. Like, it's very possible. Uh, like, and obviously there was this one, which I pointed out before, but did I miss anything else? Because I can, you know, I can return it back. Perhaps missing some things. Yep. Hello. No physical pain at all. What is this door? Can I walk around you? Because, like, I noticed that there's, like, a thing here, right? This is another little item, and it looks like I should open that, but I have no idea where it leads. Um, or what it's connected to, rather. Oh, can I walk around that? Hmm. <laughs> Let me go through some of the previous areas to see if I missed anything. Oops. Okay, did I not walk around you? Okay, I didn't, so that was the trick there. And yet, I still need to do something to get a piece. Something that hits from down here. Um, but surely it's not just turning, like, I don't understand. Unless, unless I can, like, get a piece from here. Oh, look at this. Wait, I'm not sure. This is the right one. This is the right direction for sure, okay. Try to avoid the, um, the big flesh thing in the room, I guess. My first is in nothing and also in nowhere. Is there lore? Because, like, the, the other intermission talked about, like, a second, I think. Let's just look back at the start. What is this door? And I don't even know how it could be opened. <laughs> yeah, like, there's also this door, too. I have no idea what that's about. Let me just do another check. Oh shoot, I really miss this open exit right here. Yeah, okay. But what does that do? I mean, it's just like returning to the start, so... Maybe that was just supposed to be a shortcut. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna go and get eaten by the red monster thing. Like, I honestly can't wait. <laughs> what did I expect? I, well, I expected a sound effect. But yeah, there we go. That was entanglement. Uh, I believe there's more, like, because it's chapter one. But yeah, that's a pretty freaking cool mechanic. I'm glad I got reminded of it, because I definitely remembered um, only, like, the first few rows of the gameplay. But yeah, see ya.